problem solver. I have Ambassador Ashok Sajanhar, Vivek Wadwa back with us. Sunil Alak, good to see you. And also Sushant Sari. Namaste, Jai Hind to all our gender guests. My first question to you, Ambassador Sajanhar. Have we got our foreign policy? There are many experts who have said that till the time Bharat becomes the nation that everybody turns to to solve their problems, till the time we become the problem solver rather than the problem, we will never become a superpower. We will never be seen as a Vixit nation or a superpower. Do you think we've been able to achieve that with this G20 summit? Well, thank you very much, Anand, for having me on your show. And uh, yes, to respond to your question briefly, yes, India has really emerged as a consensus builder. India has emerged as a consensus maker. You know, I draw your attention also, Anand, to last year, November 2022, hmm. when in Bali also we were you know, faced with a similar problem of the Russia-Ukraine conflict and how to, uh, you know, hmm. how to reflect it as far as the final declaration is concerned. Hmm. Because like in India, you know, in the ministerial declarations, we were not able to get consensus. So also in Bali and there also, it was the formulation of Prime Minister Modi that he had used with President Putin mm. in Samarkand in September 22, which really won the day mm. that uh, this is not an era of war. Mm. And uh, that is how that uh, formulation and that declaration mm. got unanimous acceptance. Yes. Here, of course, the problem was much uh, bigger, much more serious because in December itself, Russia and uh, supported by China had said that Bali will no longer fly. Hmm. So we had to find out some alternatives. And I'm, you know, the whole world was saying hmm. that India will not be able to do it because, uh, you know, the positions of both the sides were very, very definite and they were far apart. Hmm. You know, when uh, European Union came here, the British uh, uh, UKPM hmm. came here or Sergei Lavrov, their positions were very, very far. But I think we have been able to do it and we were able to do it not at the 11th hour. Hmm. We were able to do it very well in time. So I think this is a hmm. truly a humongous historic achievement. Hmm. I think it is truly a watershed moment in uh, uh, international relations. And I hmm. think it is really signifies, hmm. uh, you know, coming of age of India as far as the global stage is concerned. Ji, Amitabh Khan, the G20 Sherpa was speaking with us here on the right stand on Sunday night. And uh, he said that uh, the emerging nations helped. Brazil, Indonesia, uh, South Africa, their leaders came and they really, really helped him uh, get uh, the nations, the other nations on board, especially Russia and China on board uh, to try and get this paragraph going and to get the entire document in place. So very clearly, uh, even at the platform, at the presidency briefing, the uh, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar also credited the emerging nations. But if we look at the shape of uh, the G20 now, post the inclusion of the Africa Union, Sunil Alag, what stands out is that G20 now becomes more potent than the UN, more productive than the UN and more inclusive because we have nations of the future that will drive the growth in the future, now part, integral part of this construct. You know, United Nations, yeah, yeah. UN, UN, before you finish speaking, hmm. UN had already, over the last three or four years, it became a mouthpiece for America. Hmm. Basically, because even when they, when they went into Iraq, when they went into everywhere, United Nations didn't use its feet. Hmm. Didn't use its speak at all on hmm. this subject. Hmm. See, we have spoken and Africa has come in. See, Europe is declining because of various problems, whether it's Germany, whether it's France, whether it's Italy. Hmm. They in the next five years are seeing themselves come down. Hmm. Now, UK, you've got Rishi Sunak who has attempted to hmm. get into Bangladesh and whatever else, he's down on his feet. He's behaving like an Indian in India. Hmm. And therefore, he's got a whole lot of problems coming up now. India is the best position to take advantage of where we are. Hmm. And whether economically or not, it's going to help us in attracting well, investment, which I'm presuming you will ask, Hmm. little later but the i'm just telling you that look we have positioned ourselves so well that, um, in the world I, I was, that today I we have to Vi now vivek ji i'll come to you sir the fact. after sunil alag i'll come to you vivek ji as uh, sunil alag is also speaking so let him complete and then i'll come to you vivek ji no yes, no sunil. but i've just sure. said that look we have positioned ourselves well it's for us to take advantage of it now